So you're thinking about moving to Bend, Oregon, and you want to learn about the fun line that is in Bend, Oregon. What is the fun line, should you ask? Well, we're so glad you asked. It is the trendiest part of Bend, the downtown corridor, the box factory area, and the old mill district. Basically a straight line of about a mile. We're gonna be traversing that today for you. So if that sounds like a good idea, stick around. We're gonna be getting after it right now. your first time on the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about Bend, Oregon and the surrounding area, subscribe to the channel, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about what's going on here in Bend. My name is Zach Nutter, this is Ryan Woodloff, both licensed brokers with eXp Realty and we've lived here for over 30 years. So whether you're looking to move in the next 9 days or 90 days, give us a call, give us a text, send us an email. We'd love to connect with you, help you make a smooth move here to Bend. With that being said, let's start the tour of the fun line here in Bend. All right, Downtown Bend, the first pit stop on the fun line. That is Downtown Bend, the Box Factory, and the Old Mill District here. Downtown Bend is a historic area here, but it's also been kind of revived over the course of the last 20 years. It is one of the most trendy areas in all of Bend. There are restaurants, there are shops, there are all kinds of things to do, but ultimately speaking, there are thousands upon thousands of people that come through this particular stretch of Bend on a daily basis. It is basically the hub of Bend as well as the fun line. It, it truly is just a spectacular area and there's always something to do. So there's everything from barber shops to restaurants to bars to theaters, so the Tower Theaters down here, which is one of the coolest places to catch a comedy show, a concert so many different things that they do there. We've got the Pine Tavern restaurant, which is the oldest restaurant in Bend. It's got a pine tree growing through it. It's so old. Um, there is tons of little uh, small owner, small business shops. We've got like Silverado. You've got a ton of t-shirt shops. Like everything you would expect to find in a tourist style town, you'll find here. As well as some really nice high-end boutiques. You've got uh, Revolver and Evergreen. You've got Lulu's. There's a ton of great places to shop down here, whether you're looking for a souvenir or to really be well-dressed uh, for the evening, if you're looking for whatever. There's so much great stuff here, um, downtown Bend. But it's all kind of small business. When you get into the old mill, when we get the last stop of the fun line here, you'll see that the old mill has a lot of the bigger box stores. But if you're coming to Bend and you're visiting for the first time, you want to spend a lot of time in these three areas. This is kind of the primary location for spending time, hanging out, just having that kind of tourist feel in Bend. You're going to want to spend time in downtown, the box factory, and the old mill district. There's several other places that are fantastic, but these are the most well-known areas around. Absolutely. We just passed Goodies, a staple when it comes to an ice cream shop in this area here. We went by Leap and Lizards, a great little toy shop right nearby. And we're going by a bunch of mom and pop boutiques that are all about just uh, trendy fashion, things like that. But again, like Zach said, it's about the mom and pop style vibe when it comes to the businesses that are located here in downtown Bend. I mean, some of the best restaurants in Bend are right here in downtown. I can think of several off the top of my head. My favorite is probably Boss Torres or Zydeco or maybe uh, the Brick House. Is that anything, wall. anything else come to mind? Yeah, 900 Wall is Five fantastic. Sushi. Bar Rio, another uh, great spot. What's the old Staccato now? It's like the Firehouse. Or That's the Brick House, yeah. Brick House, yeah. Brick House is great. Um, you've got uh, We've got three amazing Thai restaurants in downtown alone. We've got Toomey's, Roy, and Wild Rose. Wild Rose has probably the best lunch specials you could ever imagine. Uh, and they're super fast with their service. You've got a 30 minute lunch break. You can get in and out of there really quick. Uh, but you've got the Birkenstock shop. You've got the Foot Zone, like the best place in Bend to buy uh, shoes if you're a runner, anything like that. Tower Theater's right in front of us right now. Coming up on that, yep. Um, we've got, there's just so much down here. But it's very vibrant. It connects right to Drake Park. So if you're looking for a little bit of outdoor recreation, uh, Drake Park is kind of the 
the last stop if you're floating in the summertime. Um, the very, is that the southern entrance? For... Of, of Drake Park where yeah, people get yeah, out Yeah, yeah, that'd be right at the Galveston Corridor there. Yeah, so that's where people get out, and there's a bus that will take you back to the old mill district where we'll show you at the end of our stop here. But, um, so people will float all the way from the old mill to here. It's about a 20 minute walk. We're gonna, we're gonna walk the whole time. We're gonna weave through downtown, show you a few more spots down here. And we're gonna walk to the box factory. And then we're gonna head over to um, the old mill. And we're gonna show you the whole fun line here. Absolutely. I mean, right now we're in the middle of March. You're getting a feel for what downtown Bend is like on a middle, in the middle of a Wednesday, you know, two o'clock on a Wednesday afternoon. There's just cars parked everywhere. There's stuff going on let's constantly. Show where, let's show Drake Park. Yeah, let's walk over here to the right a little bit. We're gonna weave over. Get back to okay. my spot here. I'm always on the left. Brian's always on the right. That's right. Now we're on, this is Riverside Boulevard right to our left. And we're just a couple hundred feet away from the actual entrance to Drake Park and where the river is. And Drake Park ultimately is like the staple park in Bend and uh, it's the original but it's all connected it's all intertwined and there's just so much to do in this particular area so this if, little restaurant right behind us the lemon tree one of the best places to have brunch in Bend uh, it's not real fancy from the exterior but they have some of the most amazing food you'll see like we go from downtown right into Drake Park Beer ponds sitting right out there. Some of the most beautiful, um, picturesque homes in all of Bend sit just on the other side of Drake Park here. But absolutely amazing, amazing location. We're just coming up to the edge of Drake Park. We'll turn around here in a moment and show you guys what that looks like from a backdrop perspective. And then we'll get back onto our tour of the fun line because it's basically a straight shot from north to south downtown to the box factory to the old mill area but we just wanted to show you guys what this looks like we've done a video on drake park before and we'll link a card up to the uh that video in this video up in the, the top right of this video here and you guys can take a look at that but we'll just turn around real quick all right so right behind us is your pond there's about 15 20 houses on the other side of the pond there that are absolutely gorgeous the water is usually so still that you can see a reflection in it. That's why they called it Beer Pond. There's actually a beer named after this uh, by Deschutes Brewery. Um, and it's just an amazing place. There's much music in here in the summertime. There's all kinds of runs and different stuff that this is kind of the epicenter for all that. Um, and it's so close to downtown. I could literally throw a rock and hit yeah. downtown right now. So it's really cool that you have all this um, nature right next to the biggest spot for commerce here in Bend. Uh, pretty unique that you have that kind of nature right next to downtown. As you can hear in the background, there's quite a few parts. Like this is a, a very busy area of town. It kind of brings the east to the west, so a lot of people will come down. This is Franklin to the right of us. A lot of people come here and they'll head to the west side of town. That road connects to Galveston, where you'll find Ten Barrel, Brother John's. A lot of those different places over there. Uh, so yeah, this is this is downtown Bend. Now don't go searching for the fun line in Google. You won't find it. We named it the fun line. Because if you're coming to Bend, this is the area that you really want to hang out in. Um, if you've got 48 hours in Bend, I would find an Airbnb, a hotel, something here locally, the Oxford. What's the place right above the old milk car? There's the Spring Hill Suites. Spring Hill Suites. There's like four or five Ramada, hotels uh, right in this Hampton area. Hampton Inn, Hampton Suites. Yeah, yeah. the Hampton Suites um, that you can get anywhere very quickly. You can traverse all over the place. And um, it's just, this is where you want to spend the majority of your time if you're here for a short period of time. If you like being close to restaurants, bars, entertainment, and you're thinking about living here, definitely great to see your proximity to downtown, the old mill, the box factory, or the fun line, if you will. <laughs> so we're stuck in a light here now. We're uh, about to cross. This is the Drake behind us. This is a really great restaurant. So the Drake has created, the owners of the Drake have created the Washington. It is one of the Hamburger. Hamburger. 
Yeah. So these guys know how to put together a great restaurant. In front of us, you have the public library, you have the Boys and Girls Club, you have McMenamins. And I don't know if you guys have McMenamins where you're from, but so our McMenamins has, what does it have like three or four different bars? Pubs, restaurants, it's got a restaurant, it's cigar got a, bar. Cigar bar, it's got a movie theater. The old Catholic school is what it is. It's got it a is. soaking tub, it's got a hotel. It's such a cool property that kind of spans a good part of the outside of downtown. They're actually getting ready. This used to be the old post office. Let's this is the most that. historic building of downtown right here. And this is going to be a luxury hotel here shortly. I just read in the news the other day that they're turning that into a luxury hotel. But yeah, it's so we're kind of on the outskirts of downtown now. Bond and Wall Street are the two main streets that are one way. If you come to Bend, make sure you pay attention to the one way streets downtown. Every once in a while, we'll see somebody driving the wrong way down one of the one ways. It can kind of get confusing down here. But you've got City Hall to the left, um, you've got um, some public works buildings up there. You've got the Boys and Girls Club. They're building another library on the southeast side of town over in Stevens Ranch. Hmm. Um, but currently, this is our main public library that we're coming up on now. So, we'll give you guys some good B-roll, and we'll see you at the Box Factory the midway through the fun line. So we made it about two blocks down from the main drag of downtown where all that traffic was. Heading south. And we're heading southbound right now. We're still right on that fun line, but we're coming into some historic buildings here. There's a historic elementary school up in front of us right now, but we're gonna zip by some of these homes that have been here. This is Old Bend neighborhood that we're in right now as we get over to where the box factory is gonna be located. And we just wanna insert the fact and give you guys information on the, the idea that there are homes there's all kinds of uh, neighborhoods in this particular stretch of the fun line and it's one of the more desired areas because of its proximity to all of the trendy areas of bend so most of the houses in this area between downtown and the old mill district are going to be quite a bit older they're going to be built in the 20s 30s 40s unless they've been tipped over and been rebuilt. So you will find houses in here that have basements. We've talked about this before. Not a lot of houses in Bend have basements unless they're quite a bit older. The ground here is really hard. It's hard to dig. So we don't see a lot of places with basements. But here, um, you're gonna find some houses with basements. We're shooting some video. <laughs> Walking by a school right now. Walking by a school. <laughs> So you will find some places that have um, basements. You will find a lot of older homes. These, a lot of these homes are actually original old mill homes. So when people were working the mill, mills in the 20s, 30s, 40s, these are the places that they lived. So you will find some houses here that are pretty dang old. Um, some of them, you actually can't get permits to rebuild on them. So you gotta be really careful when you're looking at houses in here because they were built at such an age that they don't have proper foundations and different stuff like that. So always make sure if you're looking to buy one of these very, these older parts of them that you do your due diligence, you have a home inspection done. But like this house to the left has a basement, it's been redone, it looks beautiful. But um, there's some, I know there's some right across the street from the box factory. That, uh, that are absolute teardowns. You're buying it for the, the value of the land. We're, we're strolling right now. We're getting close to the box factory. You're hearing some of these cars that are zipping by that are crackling on the road. Those cars actually have studs on their tires. And so that, that's the noise that you hear when there's just bare asphalt, no ice or no snow. Um, that actually, we have kind of a period of time where it's allowed to have studs on the tires in the winter time and it's typically like i think november 1st maybe correct me if i'm wrong zach up until maybe april or mid-april where it's actually an ordinance where you have to 
change over your tires and get standardized tires for the spring and summer seasons. Um, and so that's something to keep note of. Some people choose to get studs every year. Some people opt not to, they just get winter tires. Um, and now we're zipping up here to basically the edge of this old Bend neighborhood. You can see some of these homes here like Zach was talking about. Um, a lot of these, uh, a lot of these frames here, one story homes, a lot of them have been, been uh, revamped and they've been renovated over the course of time. Others are just kind of the way they were 60, 70 years ago. And that's kind of the nature of the makeup of this neighborhood. Very so, unique. One of the really cool parts of this particular neighborhood is Jackson's Corner that we're about to walk towards right, or walking towards right now. Um, it's a little corner store that has really good food, has, um, you can go in and buy drinks and stuff as a market if you want a six pack of beer, a bottle of wine, a Gatorade, you know, it's got kind of a little store integrated into it. Great little but restaurant. It's been here for a long time. It wasn't always called Jackson's Corner. There was a, it was a different store years ago. I can't remember what it was called. I think it was the Delaware Market. It was the Delaware Market. That's, it's on the corner of Delaware and Broadway. That's right. But a uh, really cool store. We're going to go inside, show you around in there, and then we're going to head to the box factory. about a 12 to 15 minute stroll we've made it to our next stop on the fun line we're in the box factory or at least entering the box factory right now and this is actually probably the newest of the three different pit stops along the fun line and the box factory is an old historic area probably pertaining and related to the the mill and the culture of bend but it's been revamped and it's just this awesome area that is just all about retail shops. There's restaurants, there's just all kinds of things to do. We're just a stone's throw away from the old mill district. We did a recent video on two large condo complexes that are going up right now. That is right off the beaten path of the box factory. But as we continue our stroll here, we're gonna show you guys what this area really is all about. There's historic homes within this area, but there's also just dozens of little businesses. There's coffee shops, there's restaurants, there's uh, there's workout facilities. There's just, you name it, they've got it right down here. And it's a very, very popular area to come and hang out at, especially on like concert nights in the summertime, but people are outside, they're enjoying the amenities that Ben has to offer. You can sense that there's still a high volume of traffic in this area. There's a market of choice right down to the left here, a couple hundred feet. Um, just a really unique area, a lot of condos. Um, so there's people living in this area, but they're also enjoying the amenities that are uh, the businesses of this box factory area. If you uh, like that more urban contemporary feel, this is the area to live. So if you're good with a condo, if that's the style that you want to live, this is the place to do it. We've got four amazing already built condo complexes. Um, there's a video that we have Ryan alluded to earlier. Um, there's four amazing facilities right now, but they are building two more that will be the biggest facilities in Bend for condos. And they all center right around the box factory here. They're going up as we speak. They're six, seven stories high. There's what, 13, 14 buildings plus. Um, there'll be mixed use commercial, there'll be office space. This is going to truly be the hub of Ben, yeah. um, and it sits right between downtown and the old mill district. So if you like that more city lifestyle, this is gonna be the area you absolutely wanna be looking for a home. 
without a doubt. And so we're looking straight ahead right now. There's two large cranes up in the sky. They're just starting to piece together these buildings that are gonna be shooting up. And we've talked about that on previous videos where it's like, all right, Bend is turning into more of like this urban metropolis, right? We have that ordinance that went into place year, a, a year or two ago that allows now uh, construction going up instead of out. And so we're gonna see more of an urban vibe Let's go inside the box over right the course of time. Yeah, and what's gonna happen is Ben is gonna start feeling like a bigger city than what it's felt like in previous years. We're going through kind of like the breezeway here of the box factory. But what you're gonna notice here that there's businesses uh, on both the left and right side of us right now. The River Pig Saloon's a very popular bar area. Um, Borgo Rosati is a great spot bar. over here. You got a fitness facility to the left. There's so much, there's barbershop. This area has so much, there's probably 20 or 30 little businesses inside of here that mm -hmm. are absolutely unbelievable. Right across the street, you have the Spring Hill Suites. You've got two food cart lots that sit on either side of the box factory. It's such a cool, like this is one of the coolest vibes in Ben, is the box factory. So if you're coming just for a day or two, this is definitely an area that would be awesome for you to come and, uh, and hang out and spend some time. We could pan over here. You look right behind us now. You can see those cranes that are shooting up into the sky. And so we did that video on the condo complexes a couple weeks ago. And so this is kind of that vibe. This gives you an understanding of where it's located in proximity to downtown, now the box factory. And we'll show you in real short time uh, where the old mill is, um, just in conjunction with these three little areas that you know make up the fun line. But this is uh, what it's really all about right now. The Spring Hill Suites is right in front of us. There's a couple other hotels within uh, a short distance of where we're standing right now. There is a uh, food truck lot to our left. There's one behind us. There's all kinds of things going on right now. So it attracts a lot of people. And on a daily basis, there are thousands upon thousands. This is like the trendiest part of Bend, this whole stretch of, of what we're alluding to in this video. This is where people kind of conglomerate to. They just they, they just move over here. They swarm to this area. When they're, when they're not at work, this is where they want to come, socialize with their friends. The river is in very close proximity to where, us, to where we're at right now as well, just a couple hundred feet. So um, the river basically started everything and then the, the development happened around the river over the course of time. Yeah, you can literally look at the mountains while you surf the river. Here we've got a surf wave. It's incredible. Um, there's so much around here, and we are literally, we haven't even shown you the last stop yet, but the box factory is so great. You did such a great job with this. This is a whole yeah. building that just wasn't all that exciting at all. And now you've got Immersion Brewery, Bledsoe uh, Winery. You've got uh, another winery in here. You've got the Brown Owl. Avid Cider's over Avid there. Cider, uh, the River Pig. You've got a game room. You've got food trucks on either side. You've got a food Barber truck shops. at the box factory. You've got the gear fix. Like this place is unbelievable. What they provide in this one building. Imagine when there's 75,000 more square feet mm. of mixed-use commercial space in the building in front of us. This is going to be the most amazing place to live here, Ben. Yeah, and it's just maybe a year away from these buildings opening. These. these condo complexes and you can see that they're just really getting after it right now so um, we're gonna continue on with this tour we're gonna zip down to the old mill area which is probably three or four hundred yards away from where we're standing right now and we'll give you a perspective of the final pit stop of the fun line hope you guys are enjoying it Now we've made it to our final stop on today's tour of the Fun Line. We're down in the Old Mill District, right on the north edge, and we are walking towards the Deschutes River right now. In very short time, you're gonna see the smokestacks behind us. 
but we are going right into one of the, the, the mainstays of Bend, the Old Mill District was uh, developed back in the early 2000s and now it's one of the most popular areas in all of Central Oregon, not just Bend, but it is a mecca for people and gathering just because of the businesses, the, the proximity to the river, the ability to, to zip up and down the river if you so choose on a regular paved path, or even if you go a little bit further onto a nature trail, just uh, maybe a half a mile to a mile away from here. Of course, we have the Hayden Homes Amphitheater. It is right to our right as of this moment right now, but we are walking right into where all of the businesses are, the restaurants, the shops, the movie theaters nearby. This ultimately is one of the biggest attractions in all of Central Oregon, right here on the Fun Line. So if you wanna sit by the river and have lunch, this is the place to do it. I can only think of one other place in town other than the old mill that you can sit and have lunch or dinner by the river that's currents at the river house mm, yep um but there's three restaurants here in particular you've got Moscini, you've got greg's grill you've got anthony's that have outdoor seating oh they've also got the, red robin you've got red robin yep that have great places that you can sit on the river selfie stick have <laughs> That's a selfie stick. Yeah, it is a selfie stick. <laughs> Lots of people out here exercising. Uh, see, we, we endure a lot of punishment for you guys. That's right. Um, but, so you've got Greg's Grill. This is, in particular, my favorite place. You sit, listen to a concert while uh, enjoying a really nice meal. They give out the wine. They've got a fire pit. Anthony's is also available. Red Robin. Um, but this whole, this is running kind of on the backside of the old mill district. If you continue down this path, this will wrap around about three and a half miles all the way out into the forest. There's a bridge that goes over. It's about a three and a half mile loop from the old mill that kind of wraps around. And then you can take this all the way to downtown, which is kind of the direction you've already come from. Yeah. But if you're looking for like more of like a big box retail shopping fix, this is where you want to go. You've got Sephora, you've got, um, Vanilla, Vanilla, Lush, there's Lululemon, REI, Athleta, uh, I already said Lululemon. Um, we just got a new place, uh, Anthropology. Anthropology is here. We'll zip right over here to the commercial area too. But there are a mix of smaller uh, local stores um, embedded in here. We've got a huge hotel that sits right on the top of the old mill here. You've got small little restaurants as well as the big ones. You've got a couple sushi places. There's a new brewery that just opened in here. Um, what else do we have? We've got a Zoomies, a Sunglass Hut, a Claire's, meaning ears pierced. Sweet so like candy shop. Drinks. Yeah. There's a Gap. We've got the Man in Public. Works. Yep. Now we're kind of on the drag. Eagle. American Eagles here. Yep. We've got the theater, of course, our primary theater in the area. But now we're just on the commercial side. So you saw us go from the riverside all the way now into the, the main stay of where all the, the, the shops are, the restaurants, etc. are. And on a concert night in the summertime, this area where we're right now, I mean, it's just a flood of people. They're getting ready to either enter the amphitheater or exit the amphitheater. The businesses are vibing because they're in anticipation of all the people that come down here to enjoy whatever said show is on the docket for that night. But this ultimately right here, the proximity to the river, it's proximity to the other parts of the fun line, the box factory and the downtown area make up just a really neat little drag of about a mile that is Bend, Oregon. And it's basically, it's the staple. It's like the trendiest part of this particular area in Bend along with maybe some some certain areas of the west side but this is what people come to visit when they come when they come check out Ben. this is the spot so last year my wife and i had a we said this is going to be our summer of tourism we floated the river we did all the restaurants that everybody comes to we did a lot of the hikes and different things and it was such an eye-opening experience to actually go and do the things that people come here for. Because when you live here, when you've lived here for over 30 years, you kind of take advantage of those things, you you overlook them, you know you're so busy in the day-to-day -day grind that you don't enjoy them. And man, it opened our eyes to what really is here. Um, it's such an amazing thing to see. 
Um, we've got a, this was the first thing built here was the Regal Old Mill 16 movie theater. It's a stadium style seating that's got IMAX, it's got X theaters. Like it's a phenomenal facility for coming and watching movies. Right across the way, we have a Ben Park and Rec facility that's got a huge park. You'll see people in there playing Ultimate Frisbee, Rugby, a lot of 5Ks start there. Um, in the winter Old time, pedal paddle goes through yep, there. In the winter time, they have a sauna set up. It's kind of that contrast therapy where you can go hit sit in the sauna for 15 minutes, and then people go soak in the river, which is at like 50 degrees and freezing, and then they come back to the sauna. Super, super cool. But this whole area connects right to nature, which is so cool because you can take the same trail all the way deep into the, the woods and a mile from here on the trail you feel like there's nobody around other than the other people that are on the trail it's a pretty unique combination right we've got the paved path right in front of us right in front of us we're about to jump back on that but if you keep going to our left about a mile, maybe less than a mile from here. Yeah, it turns into like this nature walk where you feel like you're out of the city limits, yet you're still right on the river, but you feel like you're maybe in a forest somewhere. And it's just, uh, it's just a great little combination of things that uh, the city of Bend has turned this, this little stretch of the river into. And this is only about 25 years old at most. Before that, this was the mill, right? This was an inaccessible part of the river in Bend for basically 75% of Bend's existence. And now it's the most popular part of town. The view of Aubrey Butte in front of us is great right now. We can see the mountains in certain pockets of this particular stretch that we're strolling on right now. We're about to come across the footbridge that takes you over to the other side where the amphitheater uh, entrances as well as a hotel to our left so it just gives you this real vibe and like the stretch of the river to our left here this is just the main drag of where thousands of people will float the river each and every day on a 90 degree day in, in July or August so give you some real perspective of what Bend has really become over the last 25 years three months from now this river will be bumper to bumper traffic with huge inflatables, inner tubes, anything that will float on the water, you will see drifting down the oh, yeah. river. During the summer concert series at the amphitheater, you will see people posted up on paddle boards, any kind of cockamamie contraption you can find that will float. We'll be sitting here just listening to the music. This whole area that we're walking right now, people used to poke up or post up camp chairs and everything else and they ended up stopping that because we weren't able to get as big of artists because so many people were getting the concert for free so this area is kind of gated off unless you're yep. staying at one of the, the restaurants a really cool little spot right here is this little winery you can become a member there we sit out on the patio a lot of the restaurants during uh, concert season you can sit on the patios and listen to the music sorry guys we're getting a little wind today it's kind of the last of the bad weather uh hopefully hopefully for the next week anyway we're supposed to get into the high 50s and 60s we're early march right now um but so many great concerts happen just right there so this river gets so utilized when what 25 years ago you wouldn't see anybody floating the river. Couldn't here. even get here, yeah. There would be nobody floating the river. Yeah. We would jump off of an old bridge over there, hang out and swim and stuff, but there was nobody floating the river. No. So really opened up with creating that whitewater park, surf wave and everything else. They yeah. really created some cool stuff to really open the outdoor space here inside of Bend City Limits. Absolutely. Is there anything else we want to cover on today's video? I think that sums up the fun line. Yeah, that's about the end of the fun line. So uh, if anybody Hopefully else makes a video about the fun team. line. Yeah. Uh, but we hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, this really is an amazing part of Ben. It's a huge reason why people love to come here. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. If you want some more information about this area of town or any other area or the surrounding areas, let us know. Call us, text us, email us. We'd love to connect with you. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.